Have you ever come across a TV series that leaves an indelible mark on your memory? One that speaks to the trials and tribulations of adolescence, resonating with the challenges and joys of growing up. If so, you might be familiar with the 1987 TV series, Degrassi High. This Canadian teen drama captured the essence of teenage life like few others, addressing critical issues while showcasing the journey of a group of high school students. But beyond its compelling narratives, Degrassi High has a unique way of connecting with its viewers, prompting two questions. Can you share a personal story of how this TV series has inspired or impacted your life? Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's dive into some random facts about the show. Degrassi High was a continuation of the popular Degrassi Junior High series and maintained its honest portrayal of teenage life. The show tackled topics such as teen pregnancy, drug abuse, relationships, and identity crises with a refreshing honesty that set it apart from other teen dramas of the era. This authenticity, coupled with relatable characters, made it an enduring favorite for viewers worldwide. Despite the passage of time, Degrassi High remains an influential cultural touchstone, with a legacy that continues to inspire and resonate with audiences. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We look forward to hearing your stories in the comments below. Degrassi High, a beloved Canadian TV series that aired in 1987, emerged as a groundbreaking teen drama building on the legacy of its predecessor, Degrassi Junior High. This iconic show, created by Linda Schuyler and Kit Hood, artfully navigated the tumultuous lives of a diverse group of high school students, addressing crucial issues such as teen pregnancy, drug abuse, and identity exploration. The series' strength lay in its relatable and multi-dimensional characters, including Joey Jeremiah, Spike, Caitlin, and Wheels, who faced real-life challenges that resonated with viewers. Degrassi High was distinctive for its naturalistic portrayal of adolescent experiences, often filmed in a documentary-style format. The series became a touchstone for teen dramas, fostering candid conversations on sensitive topics, and its enduring impact on popular culture endures as a testament to its genuine portrayal of the trials and tribulations of youth. The filming schedule for Degrassi High in 1987 ran from May to December to minimize school disruptions for the young actors. This unique setup meant that even in episodes set during the school year, many characters could be seen wearing summer clothing, like shorts. During the show's third season, Earl Grey Senior Public School served as Borden High School, where the grade 9 students took their science classes. Interestingly, some of the actors attended classes there in real life, and the show's creator, Linda Schuyler, had taught there. The school's cafeteria was also featured in the episode Degrassi High, Season's Greetings. Sue Johansson, known for hosting the Sunday Night Sex Show, lent her voice to the character of Dr. Sally, a sex expert with a radio show that Yik Yu and Arthur Kobielski call in the episode Degrassi High, Great Expectations. At that time, she hosted Sex with Sue. Johansson also made an on-screen appearance in the episode Degrassi High, The Whole Truth. She reprised her role as Dr. Sally in the Degrassi, the Next Generation episodes The Mating Game, and Careless Whisper. These behind-the-scenes tidbits offer a unique perspective on the making of Degrassi High and its connections to real-life experiences. It's fascinating how the filming schedule and location choices influenced the show's look and feel, and how real-life professionals like Sue Johansson contributed to the series. Neil Hope, who played Derek Wheels Wheeler in the 1987 TV series Degrassi High, faced a personal tragedy while filming a poignant scene. In real life, just a couple of months before shooting a funeral scene, Neil Hope lost his father. During that scene, he struggled to hold back tears, making it a deeply emotional moment. This personal grief added a layer of authenticity to his performance, reflecting the real-life challenges the cast sometimes faced while bringing their characters to life on screen. In 1990, TV producer Aaron Spelling wanted to buy the rights to the Degrassi series, but was declined. As a result, he went on to create his own teen drama Beverly Hills, 90,210. This decision marked a significant turning point in the history of teen television dramas. 
Degrassi High, a popular TV series from 1987, was initially offered the opportunity to be under the wing of Aaron Spelling, a renowned figure in the entertainment industry. However, the creators of Degrassi High chose a different path which led to the birth of Beverly Hills, 90,210, another iconic teen drama. The rejection of Aaron Spelling's offer had far-reaching implications. Degrassi High continued to maintain its distinct identity and influence on the world of television. The series went on to explore important issues faced by teenagers, including relationships, friendships, and growing up. It was known for its realistic portrayal of the challenges and experiences of high school life. Degrassi High was also unique in that several crew members took on on-screen roles in the series. This added an authentic touch to the show. Notable examples include art director Judy Shiner, who appeared as a customer at Spike's mom's salon in the episode Degrassi High. It's late. Picture editor Robert DeLint, who played a cashier in the episode Degrassi High. Great Expectations, and Susan Nielsen, one of the writers, who portrayed Loella, the caretaker of Degrassi Junior High in the episodes Degrassi High, Dog Days, and Degrassi High, Season's Greetings. Joey, one of the characters in Degrassi High, made a unique mark as well. He became the first Degrassi character to walk nude in the school. This bold move highlighted the show's commitment to addressing real issues faced by teenagers and pushing the boundaries of traditional television. In conclusion, Degrassi High, the 1987 TV series, left an indelible mark on the world of teen dramas. Its decision to decline Aaron Spelling's offer ultimately led to the creation of Beverly Hills, 90,210, while the series itself continued to be celebrated for its authenticity and willingness to tackle important issues. The inclusion of crew members in on-screen roles and bold character choices made Degrassi High a groundbreaking show in the genre. In the 1987 TV series Degrassi High, there is an interesting tidbit about the character Mr. Radich. His first name is Daniel, and the actor who portrayed him, Dan Woods, shares the same name. This small but intriguing detail adds a personal touch to the character, making it memorable for fans of the show. Daniel Radich, the stern and sometimes exasperated teacher at Degrassi High, was a pivotal figure in the series, and knowing his first name connects the actor and character in a unique way. This fact gives viewers a deeper insight into the show and its characters, making Degrassi High a classic in the realm of teen dramas. As we close the curtain on this nostalgic journey through the halls of Degrassi High, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on your personal connection with this iconic 1987 TV series. The lives of Joey, Caitlin, Snake, and the rest of the gang may have played out on screen, but their experiences resonated with countless viewers, leaving an indelible mark on our hearts. Degrassi High tackled the trials and tribulations of adolescence with a raw, and unflinching honesty that made it more than just a TV show. It was a mirror reflecting the challenges, joys, and uncertainties of our own youth. As you think back to your favorite episodes, characters, or moments, remember that you weren't just a passive observer. You were a part of Degrassus' legacy, too. Did you find yourself rooting for a particular character's love story? Were you inspired by their resilience in the face of adversity? Or maybe you were struck by the show's ability to address real-world issues in a way that resonated with your own experiences. Now, it's your turn to share your memories, thoughts, and reflections on Degrassi High. What impact did this series have on your life? Which character did you relate to the most, and why? Whether it's a touching story, a powerful life lesson, or just a fond memory, your experiences are part of the tapestry of Degrassus' enduring legacy. Thank you for joining us on this trip down memory lane. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Let's keep the Degrassi High conversation alive, because the lessons we've learned from these fictional characters are very much real. Share your thoughts and stories, and let's keep the spirit of Degrassi High alive together. Remember, it's not just a show, it's a piece of our own history.